Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where we are currently going to position a satellite in a polar orbit of Kerbin. And we're going to need to take a look at if we are going northward or southward with our polar orbit directionality. And it looks like... Let's see, if we're on this side we go northward. If we're on this side, of course, we would go southward. It depends on where we are in the launch window, but right now we would go northward. Okay. That's fine. So let's go ahead and head into the VAB because we do want to put our fancy new relay antenna on this thing. So let's go ahead and open up our commsat. We are not going to need side boosters, so I'm pretty sure that's uh, going to be overkill. Even for a polar orbit. Let's go ahead and take off take off this RA15 relay antenna and we are going to be putting on the RA100 relay antenna. And that's clipping through our fairing a little bit. So let's go ahead and remake our fairing. We're going to go ahead and delete it and build a new fairing. Hmm. This fairing isn't able to get wide enough, it would appear. Okay, so we're going to need to get a bigger fairing here. Fair enough. Perhaps fairing enough? Okay, so we'll go for the 1.875 meter fairing. Yeah, you can, you can just stop. Okay, there we go. And now we'll build this fairing. Right about like this. Enlarge it a little more, and now we can be shrinking it down. About like that. So that'll be a little bit heavier on the fairing, but I mean, this thing still has plenty of delta V, right? Like, our thrust weight is only 1.18, okay. But that's honestly kind of fine. I mean, it looks a little cheesy, but it should be fine. We've got plenty of delta V in our upper stages, even if we run out a little bit faster in our lower stage. So this is kind of the new generation of the Comsat. Although I kind of hate the way that the fairing is shaped, but it's probably more efficient than having it widen out up here. I don't know. Just like in terms of weight is what I'm talking about. Okay, well, let's go ahead and launch this, and we are gravity turning to the north. We're still going to have to adjust our inclination a little bit because we're launching a little bit early. I mean, we could try to target it a little bit more. Oh, I need to check to make sure that we have everything on here that we need. We do indeed. Excellent. Um... I'm actually just going to revert back to the VAB really fast here. I want to double check what we have on here for science equipment. Uh, we have a goo unit. We do not need a goo unit. And you know, we could theoretically upgrade our probodobodyne while we're in here, right? So let's go ahead and go to our pods. And let's take a quick look at what we've got available for our new probodobodynes. We've got the Octo-2, which would of course allow us to hold prograde, retrograde, radial, and normal. It would not allow us to hold maneuvers. What about this guy? That's just stability assist. Okay, so we won't be able to hold maneuvers any way we slice it. But I am going to go ahead and remove this guy, and we're going to get the Octo-2. Where did it go? Here it is. No, not you. <laughs> Come here, Octo-2. There you go. Slap that on right there. That should save us a little bit of weight as well, realistically. So I'm going to save that, double check the staging. That looks fine. Fairing then deploys at that time. 
And then we ditch the second stage and fire the spacecraft stage. Yeah, that seems completely fine. We do need to put a thermometer on here just to have a repeatable source of science for contracts, just in case. So let's go ahead and put one on. They are, of course, super light and repeatable, which is why I do the thermometer. Okay, there we go. And that should be a slight upgrade to the ComSat. Significant upgrade in the case of the antenna, but let's go ahead and launch this. We are heading to the north. Now we can warp forward a little bit so that we have a slightly more efficient launch. I'm going to take a look at that before we launch. I'm not sure how much I'll do it, but uh, where are we right now? We're currently right here. So if we were to do this, what we'd be looking to do is launch basically when we're directly below our current desired orbit, right? So let's go ahead and warp forward a little bit. To about right here. Okay, and now we launch due north. SAS on, and off we go. So this is a substantially si simpler rocket. At what point do we start our gravity turn? Well, I don't think we're gonna have too much flipping issue with this rocket. So probably at around 200 meters per second or so would be a decent time to do that. Especially once our thrust to weight starts getting up a little higher. We're already at 1.5, that's not too bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's start seeing how this is feeling. We do have an SAS module here, so that's fine. Let's just start ever so slightly. Whoa. Okay, we're already flipping. <laughs> hmm. I may have forgotten my keybinds. Okay. There we go. Please stop flipping. Please stop. Are we good? I'm tired of the patented backflip technology. <laughs> oh, we're going again. Okay, this is clearly an issue. Let's see about investigating that. 25 minutes ago? Oh, right, because we warped before we launched. We'll have to do that again. Okay. So, why is this happening? Well, it's clearly happening because we don't have enough ability to fight the higher aerodynamics at the lower atmosphere, right? So theoretically, we should be able to put in like some tail fins or something to help with that. But realistically, the easier solution is to just gravity turn later, honestly. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Like, I don't see any reason not to gravity turn later. Other than a slight, like, if we don't overshoot our altitude, it's going to be fine, right? So I, I think it's completely fine. So we'll just wait to gravity turn until our altitude is, you know, like... I mean, what's our actual target altitude here? Pretty far up there, so realistically, we're not going to overshoot. So getting more altitude isn't that big of an issue as long as we get enough horizontal speed eventually.
So yeah, we'll just not do a gravity turn for a while here. Here's the thickest part of the atmosphere going away. That's always nice. But we'll wait until we're, you know, around 20 to 30 kilometers up before we do our gravity turn. That tends to be the best way to do it, it would appear. At least with my rockets. We're moving pretty quickly now. 15 kilometers up. Twenty kilometers up, let's begin that gravity turn. This is already feeling better. Excellent. We'll sit at about 45 degrees for a little bit and be working on our horizontal and vertical momentum. Our apoapsis is actually plenty high. Plenty high. Let's just go straight for the horizon at this point. Hold attitude here. I'm gonna be ditching the fairing right now. That'll save us a fair amount of weight. Okay. We'll coast to space since we're right there anyway. And now that we're in space, We'll use our vacuum engine to the full efficiency. And we're just going to sit right at the horizon still. Of course, it does take more delta V to do a polar orbit. Hmm. We do need to adjust our trajectory. I'm going to be working on that a little bit. because our, our inclination is kind of bad. I mean, we're going to have to work on it anyway, right? Because I didn't work forward. But we may as well be getting some distance there. Okay, let's just go here north at this point. And then we'll just adjust it up here. Like, we're 28 degrees off, but it should be fine. We've got plenty of delta V. We'll just keep pushing our apoapsis out until we get to, what, around like 1.5 million? Something like that? Yeah, that should be fine. We'll be hitting orbital speeds momentarily. Actually, I'm going to go this way a bit. Okay, orbit, here we come. I mean, we're not quite there yet because we're pushing out the apoapsis quite fast currently, but that's fine. Okay, we are officially in orbit now, but it's a bit elliptical, but that's fine. Okay, at this point, we are... Uh, Looking at our ascending and descending node and thinking, yikes, or at least I am. Let's go ahead and set up a maneuver here to fix that a little bit. I'm going to come over here. I want to be 
angled about like this so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And that'll fix our inclination. A mere 873 delta V. Okay. But we should still have enough. I hope. Let's go ahead and deploy our solar panels before I forget and run out of energy. That is a thing that has happened in the past. Solar panels, go! And now let's go ahead and head towards normal. And we'll just warp to next maneuver. So this is going to be a 1 minute 13 second burn time, so we're going to want to burn this at about 37 seconds. So let's warp forward a little bit. Actually, I've overshot it. Okay, now we're burning. And I'm just going to go on stability assist and hit this node. Since I overshot, we can't really burn pure radial. We are going to run out of fuel in our maneuvering stage momentarily, and then we'll go into our spacecraft maneuver. We've got another 3000 Delta V in there though, so I'm not too concerned. Especially since our inclination is basically correct right now. And off we go. Just cutting the engines a little bit here so that we can more accurately hit this node. Oh my, okay. Do we not have an SAS module? We don't have an SAS module. Okay. Wait, what is even happening here? Why are we chasing this so much? Okay, that's a little exciting. But I mean, we don't have SAS, so we just need to come over here. For some reason, I assumed that this would have an SAS built into it, but it does not. But that's okay. We're all good. Is that close enough? Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so at this Essentially periapsis here, we'll go ahead and add a maneuver to push out prograde, no not retrograde, push out prograde down over here. Actually a little later than that. Push out down over here. A little earlier than that. About right here-ish. About right there. That'll be perfect. So, maneuvering over there. Is going to be exciting. We'll just go ahead and start moving towards radial in. About like that. Then we'll freeze. And we'll head over. No, not that way. <laughs> that is not the direction I wanted to go. We'll just go basically straight down though. At this point. That's uh, not straight, but whatever. Now we'll go over this direction. Perfect. Okay, freeze momentum there. And we will go ahead and warp to next maneuver. And yes, we will definitely be putting ourselves a uh, RCS. We'll be moving the RCS module up to the actual spacecraft in the future. <laughs> 
However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will get this satellite in position. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.